Good morning, guys. This is my bed hair. Um, look, Dorian is here. <laughs> um, we just woke up, uh, Rakas and I. It's the weekend, and um, we're going out for brunch to taste map. So I think I'll do a little vlog today because today is the only sunny, beautiful, warm day, and then it's gonna be back to like four degrees. I just got this brow product from Benefit, 24 hour brow setter, because I realized the um, Benefit brow product I had before wasn't the one I intended on buying. I actually wanted to get this one. So I didn't like the previous one, which was just like a, a whitish brow gel. That was nothing special. Whereas this one, it's supposed to give you that laminated brow look. Like brush them up and press them down. I really like this one already. We took Dorian out for a walk and I'm gonna finish getting ready. Doing this without a mirror, just with my viewfinder. By the way, this is probably one of my all-time favorite lip liners and I don't mention it enough, it's by Lumen which is a Finnish brand and uh, it's called Hazel Heart, the shade. I love it so much. And then I'm gonna use Rode Salted Caramel Peptide Lip Treatment and my Diptyque Rose Fragrance. By the way, in the previous vlogs, I got questions on my hair and how I style short hair so i think i might do a video on that I just use a small bit of my dyson to curl it a little extra and give it some bounce i'm wearing a very cozy new uh turtleneck from lindex and off we go there's always a cure here <laughs> We're back home and I decided to reorganize our shoe wardrobe, which consists mostly of my shoes, like 90% or 80% of the shoes are mine. So that's insane, I didn't realize I had that many, I have a bit of a problem, but I do love shoes and bags, so these are the new sunbonnets that I love. Um, and yeah, I actually don't have any shoes that I don't wear. Like, I love and wear all of these. Well, maybe, except for these, Reneka Villa heels. They're vintage and they're the most beautiful shoes ever. But they are one size too small on me. Yeah, they're 37 and a half on 38 and a half or 39. But they are so stunning, so I don't know. Should I keep them for like special occasion and try and wear them or resell them? They're so beautiful. And these ones are my newest... I can't test on them because I wore them today. My newest uh, Saint Laurent vintage loafers. And I have to say they're probably the most comfortable shoes that I own. So, so incredibly comfortable. I'm in love. <laughs> Okay, I want to show you the wardrobe, shoe wardrobe um, progress. This is it, um, but actually we don't have proper storage. I want to get these IKEA sort of um, little shoe dividers. So that means we'll be able to fit 
shoes and a couple like rows here because there's a lot of free space and the shoes just lay on top of each other which is impractical at all so these are the ones that we'll be wearing now here in these dust bags we've got all the summer shoes or like occasion shoes these are the ones that currently don't fit in the wardrobe all of these ones are the shoes that i want to consider selling then down here the washing machine is full of my shoes then some white ones that need to be washed and here in the bathroom we've got the shoes that i've already washed we're going to my sister-in-law and her boyfriend for a game night and i decided to make some pastries um, that i did a couple of days ago and they turned out mwah, so so good so i thought i'll share the recipe with you it's very simple easy to make and it just tastes so autumnal and yummy and it's just like the perfect little treat so what you're gonna need is um pre-made dough uh which you buy frozen uh it's puff pastry dough in six sheets the last time i used a different one from the same brand mantinga which is the best for puff pastry dough but i used the red packet so i'm gonna try with a uh, yellow one today and basically you get six sheets like this so you have to defrost them, take them out of the freezer, let them sit for a little while. Then you'll need some plums, a little bit of brown sugar, some cinnamon, voila, that's it. The first thing you're gonna do is slice this sheet in four. Sort of measure them to be the same size, like so. And while doing that, preheat your oven to 180 degrees. Line your baking tray with a baking sheet. I think I'm gonna need two trays. These will be the top layer, so leave the same amount that you used in the baking tray to go on top of these. Um, and now what we're gonna do is cut up the plums. And I just... Take the stone out and just roughly chop them like this. So one plum is enough for one of pastry. Lay them on your pastry like this. Take your sugar and just sprinkle it on top of the plums. Now I'm gonna take cinnamon and sprinkle it on top of that. Now I'm gonna take the leftover sheets and place them on top. So with a fork, you're gonna wanna do this. Oh, you see, sometimes it doesn't work as well. This dough is a little too frozen. It has to be a little easier to work with. It's almost like making ravioli. Now pop them in the oven for 20 minutes. So here they are. Last time they were a little more brown so I think you can leave them in for like five more minutes. That's it you guys. Puff pastries with sugared plums. 